Hey sports fans, welcome back to the Fool Show. Of course, I am Foolish Phil. Instant reaction, Michigan versus Indiana. Oh man, this was a trap game. I hoped, I really hoped that Michigan would be able to avoid the pitfalls of the trap game, but give Indiana credit, man. Inside the 20 yard line, it's been kind of the bugaboo of Michigan's offense for a large part of the season, really, till like maybe the three game stretch versus Wisconsin. Michigan State and, well, Michigan State we still could have won by more in Penn State. But still, inside the 20-yard line, had to settle for six field goals. Six field goals. That really hurt. But they still won. Michigan survived the trap game. It was a trap game. I don't care what anyone else says. And it's a good win. You won. Everything's still in front of us. If you just looked at the scoreboard or were watching the end of the game like I did... I was really hoping Ohio State was going to bite the bullet and be done. That would make the game a lot easier next week, I think. But, you know, their Maryland's quarterback missed a wide-open wide receiver on the two-point conversion to win the game. Ugh. So frustrating. Well, hopefully Michigan goes in there and beats them next week. Talk about tonight's game. Patterson. Excellent. But he was just a little bit off. I, don't get me wrong. I've never played quarterback. I don't know how easy it is to throw a football in 30 degree weather, but he was just a little bit off again. He came back and he played very well, don't get me wrong, but just a little bit here, a little bit there. There's rumors that maybe he'll go pro. I hope he comes back because he could get polished and I think he'd be a really good pro quarterback, but that's another topic. 250 yards passing, 68 yards rushing for Patterson. He got that zone read going very well, or the run pass option, whatever you want to call it. and. He did a great job where he would hold the ball and run, right? The only time he made the bad throw was the pressure up the middle. He threw the ball hoping it would be in the right spot, and it wasn't, and it was a pick. Higdon, great game rushing again. 21 carries for 101 yards, great. But there's some things to fix, just like every game. And I think Michigan did a pretty good job of fixing it into the fourth quarter, but, man, I just expect to see Ohio State do it. They went five wide. And then they were doing that outside wide receiver, cut in, and he would be open because you're just doing a slant, cut in across, and, you know, he's in matchups against our linebackers, and our linebackers are too far off, they're too far away, and they can't stay with him, and he catches it and runs like another 5, 10 yards. That's a really good scheme. Michigan's defense is, like, predicated on, like, you're going to try to run the ball, everything's kind of a little bit more tight, right? And... That spreading the field, those quick slants have kind of been a problem, a pain in the butt all year long. And Indiana found a new way to, a new wrinkle to use them, having the wide receiver, the outside one, cut in. It worked really good. It really did. Expect Ohio to do that next week as well. Now, one thing, think, 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 thank you, football, that we had Jake Moody. The report I heard was that Nordine had the flu, that the flu's been going through Michigan, and he had, he didn't go. And if you watch the broadcast, they showed, like, Nordine's field goal attempt, and it was like some wounded duck that barely went through in practice. <sighs> Moody's kicks. One was close. One I thought he missed, the one to go up by 11 the first time. It, it made it in. But Nordine, or Moody's kicks are, like, way high. Exactly what you want. So I'm great, very grateful we have a backup kicker. Now, it'll be interesting, was this really a flu, or was Nordine just kicking like crap, and they decided to put Moody in instead? I don't know, and I don't know if we'll ever really know that. I guess it'll be depend next week, who's the kicker next week. Is it going to be Moody or Nordine in Ohio State? Now, so very glad we had Moody. Now, I gotta just throw it out here too. Indiana's coach is an exuberant little guy. He's so annoying. I got so sick of him all fired up trying to get his guys all fired up. And then he's like, you know, one of my friends said he's like the Pat Fitzgerald of the Big Ten East. Just all fired up getting his guys all worked up and everything. He's like, oh, so annoying. They kept showing him and showing him and showing him. It's so annoying. And I think when you have that happening, you have your team reflects that attitude a little bit, right? And I just got to call it out. Indiana had some cheap-ass plays, man. 72, jumping on Hurt Vinovich. When he's on the ground, should have been flagged for that. He wasn't. Like, two plays later, 
he gets flagged for a late hit on, I think it was Quiddy Pay, or it was number six, so I don't know. But uh, finally gets called for him. And then you have their other, the targeting play, just jumps and smacks him, Berkeley Edwards, right in the head. Hopefully he's doing all right. Just, just the attitude of the coach rubs off on the players. It really does. And Indiana played dirty. And you know what? They play Michigan hard, and I can't wait to play up again next year. And hopefully we can smack them good. You know, continue the revenge tour a little bit. We won the game like we did. And honestly, the last four games have been an average of probably about eight points win for Michigan. So they give them credit. Michigan and Indiana is a good game. Give Indiana credit. But, man, I look forward to playing them next year, and hopefully we can get a little bit of revenge for their um, uh, cheap shots they pulled this week. <sighs> a win is a win is a win. We got the win. Survive the trap game. We got exposed on defense again, gave up 190 yards rushing, 200 some yards passing. Yeah, like it was, I think it was total about 300, 400 yards, just under 400 yards total on our defense. So we got things to fix, but then you look at the big scheme of things. Michigan gave up 20 points. They averaged giving up 13 points for the year per game. 20 points, okay, one extra touchdown. So despite the yards piling up, our defense really didn't give up a lot of points. Kind of just like Indiana, the yards. Michigan had over 500 yards of offense, but only gave, only got 31 points. So yards are one thing. The score is what matters. Ugh. Going up to next week, though, we got to find out about injuries. Solomon left injured. I'm not sure if he came back. I know Vinovich didn't come back. He got injured on that dirty cheap shot play. I don't know if he was injured before the guy jumped on him when he was on the ground or after from the fall. So hopefully it's probably a separated shoulder. He might be out for the year. That's a big bummer and a loss if it is that way. We'll wait for the report to come out on that. What do you guys think? What did you think was going to happen? Are you going into next week? What do you think Michigan's got to do to, you know, tighten things up? What do you think about this game? Should we have gone for more on some, you know, instead of field goals, go for touchdowns? I do have to throw out two. I'm not sure why we went for two when it was 15 to 13 or something like that. Michigan went for two, and it could have been 16 points. Instead, we were going for 17, and I just don't get why we went for that. We didn't make it. It, it was in the second quarter. You usually don't only go in the for it for two in the latter part of the third quarter or the fourth quarter. I don't know why we went for it there. Matt, any comments you have? What do you think about the game? Let me know. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the new subscribers. Very sweet. And as always, go boo!